Facebook. Um, on that final climb, I mean, how aware were you of what was going on and the time gaps and how close you needed to stay to Buitrago and well, and how far away from what was coming behind? Yeah, Matty Heyman in the car was uh, really on to it and he said uh, from the start of the climb you got 23 seconds on him. Um, so as soon as I heard that, I knew I just had to get to the from the top to the bottom at my own pace rather than race the race, if that made sense. Um, yeah, we're in such a great position with the team was amazing yesterday and gave us a nice little buffer over him so yeah I really tried to ride that last climb like a time trial rather than race it to the line um, and in the end I think that actually got me the best time possible rather than if I raced it and then blew up so now it was awesome having Heyman in the back the team were amazing today um, I was at the back a bit during the stage so uh, the boys looked after me and got me up there when it mattered um, and yeah I'm blown away by how it really unfolded to be honest it was quite a weird way it all came out um, um, but nevertheless, really, really happy. I was going to say, I've noticed you at the back quite a lot in the first few stages and, you know, at sort of calmer points in the race. Is that to do with the injury you had earlier in the year and also wanting to avoid taking too many risks? Yeah, I'm still a bit banged up from the Tour Down Under. Uh, my wrist isn't great, but yeah, just sort of not taking risks where I don't have to. I think uh, if there was crosswinds out there during this week, I'd definitely ride a lot closer to the front. But um, for a Paranesa standards, the wind and weather hasn't been too bad at all. So you haven't been in too bad a position if you were towards the back. Um, and to be honest, it was a lot less stressful than just relaxing. Um, and I think you saw like today when the climbs do matter where you had to be in position, I made sure I was there. So no, it's been a nice start. Um, hopefully a sprint day for Dylan tomorrow as well. So it's really exciting. We've got such a diverse team here that every day we're here to win a stage, whether it's with a sprint or the triple T yesterday or even today. So no, it's really good fun racing with the team. You're not going to give up this jersey without a fight now, are you? Um, I mean, do you dare to dream, dare to dream of snow maybe? A lot of snow on Saturday. <laughs> yeah, look, I, uh, I think this is the first bit of rain I've had in about four months since, uh, since I left Europe. So let's see what the weather comes on Saturday. Um, hopefully it's nice and sunny uh, for a sprint tomorrow. And then, yeah, we'll look towards the weekend. Um, this is sort of more than I ever could have imagined for this race. So, look, anything else now is a bonus and we'll just take it day by day. But, yeah, first of all, we'll try to get a win, whether it's with Dylan or Bling, uh, in the next couple of days. Cheers.